I'm Tom Ziska. We're glad to have you with us. We begin this Sunday night with the highly contagious Delta variant that is now overwhelming hospitals and causing schools to reconsider safety protocols. Fox 26's Natalie He is live tonight with the details. Natalie. Well, Tom, the policy changes may put some families more at ease, but one doctor we spoke with today says he worries that it may not be enough to keep students and teachers safe from the Delta variant. In light of surging COVID cases, two of Houston's biggest school districts are updating their health protocols. Fort Bend ISD announced via Twitter Sunday that the district will now offer a virtual learning option. And this week, HISD's Board of Trustees is expected to vote on a proposed mask mandate for all students, staff, and visitors. Many on social media already pushing for the change with the hashtag StandWithHISD. We're seeing lots of pediatric ICU admissions and and, and children's hospitals filling up, and we never saw that before. With the highly transmissible Delta variant, Dr. Peter Hotez worries schools aren't doing enough to keep kids safe. Well, everybody's, you know, bickering about masks or not masks. I said, that's small, that's small potatoes at this point. Doing masks are the least of it. We've got to get everybody vaccinated, and that means all of the adolescents, teachers, and staff. It also probably means we're going to, we may need to look at whether we can accelerate our timetable towards vaccinating school age kids, you know, ages five to 11. Dr. Hotez says not only do higher vaccination rates protect those immunized, it also curbs community transmission rates. The latest concern from local officials are overwhelmed hospitals like Lyndon B. Johnson, where currently only two ICU beds are available. I have written the governor of the state of Texas uh, that his inaction uh, is causing the suffering of the hospital systems here in this community. Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee and her staffers toured LBJ Hospital this weekend to highlight the dire urgent need for more nurses so patients don't have to spend 20 hours or more waiting or potentially be turned over to an outside tent meant for overflow. There are patients being dropped off at the community's hospitals that have to be rejected or have to sit in a lobby until a nurse can be assigned. Not a nurse that's sleeping, not a nurse that is inattentive, but they're not enough nurses. Now an 11 month old baby girl recently had to be flown to a hospital in Temple for COVID treatments because all the hospital beds here in Houston were actually full. We are happy to report tonight that that infant is now okay. She's in much better condition and off a ventilator. Natalie He reporting, Fox 26 News.